Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators. This is a special case where the fraction of the second mixed number is greater than the fraction of the first mixed number. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. 3 eighths is a proper fraction, given that the numerator 3 is less than the denominator 8. Nice! Are you ready for this special case? In this example, we need to subtract 4 and 3 eighths minus 2 and 3 fourths. These mixed numbers have different denominators. To find the difference, usually we we'll start by subtracting the whole numbers. In this example, the whole numbers are 4 and 2. Come over here. We put 4 minus 2. And 4 minus 2 give us 2. Next, we can put 2 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 3 eighths and 3 fourths. In the same order, we put 3 eighths minus 3 fourths. These two fractions have different denominators. We have 8 on the left and 4 on the right. To find the difference, we need the least common multiple of the denominators, or the least common denominator. The denominators that we have in this example are 8 and 4. The first multiples of 8 are 8, then comes 16, then we have 24, 32, 40, and so on. The first multiples of 4 are 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, then we have 12, 16, 20, and so on. The smallest number that we can find on both lists is 8. Therefore, 8 is the winner, 8 is the least common denominator. For each fraction, we need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 8. Let's start with 3 eighths, but hold on, this fraction already has a denominator of 8, so we don't need to make any changes, we just put the same fraction, 3 eighths, then we put the minus sign and let's continue with 3 fourths. By what number should we multiply 4 to get 8? By 2, that is correct, because 4 times 2 give us 8. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top, so we multiply by 2. And 3 times 2 give us 6. Now we need to subtract 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. These two fractions have the same denominator. We have 8 on the left, 8 on the right, we can put 8 on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. 3 minus 6. Hold on, 3 minus 6. We cannot subtract 6 from 3, because 6 is bigger than 3. The problem in this case is that the second fraction, 3 fourths, is greater than the first fraction, 3 eighths. Let me show you. We put 3 eighths over here, and then 3 fourths and 6 eighths are equivalent fractions. They represent the same value. Pay attention to this question. Which fraction is bigger, 6 eighths or 3 eighths? Well, the second fraction, 6 eighths, is bigger than the first one, 3 eighths. That means, over here, that the second fraction, 3 fourths, is greater than the first one, 3 eighths. Well, this is a special case where the fractional part of the second mixed number is greater than the fractional part of the first mixed number. In cases like this, we need to follow a different procedure. And this is the strategy for this special case. First, we will convert both mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then we will find the difference. Let's start with 4 and 3 eighths. Do you remember how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction? First, we multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 gives us 35. Once again, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 gives us 35, and then the denominator stays the same. We put 8 over here. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 35 eighths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 35 is greater than the denominator 8. Nice! We continue with the minus sign and we will do the same with 2 and 3 fourths. To convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, we start by multiplying the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 3 gives us 11, 11, that is correct. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 gives us 11, and then the denominator stays the same. Next, we're going to subtract these two fractions with unlike denominators. We have 8 over here and 4 over here. To find the difference, we need the least common multiple of the denominators or the least common denominator. 
but we already know that the least common multiple of 8 and 4 is 8, so next, for each fraction, we need an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 8. Let's start with 35 eighths, but this fraction already has a denominator of 8, so we don't need to readjust it. We just put the same fraction, 35 eighths, then comes the minus sign, and over here, by what number should we multiply 4 to get 8? By 2, because 4 times 2 give us 8. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. And 11 times 2 give us 22. In the next step, we need to subtract 35 eighths minus 22 eighths. These two fractions have the same denominator. We have 8 on the left, 8 on the right, 8 on this side. And we continue by subtracting the numerators, 35 minus 22. 5 minus 2 give us 3. And then 3 minus 2 give us 1. The answer is 13 eighths. But hold on, 13 eighths is an improper fraction because the numerator 13 is greater than the denominator 8. However, we don't want the answer as an improper fraction. If we start with two mixed numbers, we will finish with a mixed number. So finally, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Do you remember how to do that? Pay attention to the following question. How many times does 8 go into 13? How many times does 8 go into 13? Well, 8 goes into 13 one time. And then we multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. To get 13, we need to add 5. Once again, 1 times 8 is 8. To get 13, we need to add 5. And then we keep the denominator the same. The answer is 1 and 5 eighths. We can put that answer over here. 1 and 5 eighths. Perfect! Therefore, 4 and 3 eighths minus 2 and 3 fourths give us 1 and 5 eighths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!